the tournament. I try to avoid like getting like the bigger, like the better player on here because A, they make top eight a lot, so they're on stream a lot. So I wanna try and get I wanna try and get the other players, players whose names I don't recognize as much. I wanna get them on stream to kind of shut them off a little bit. But also, uh, because the whole point of this is to help people get into that competitive level that um, I think putting them on stream, letting them experience the stream nerves a little bit means that when they go to their locals, they're going to do just that much better. Just that much better. So the only reason why I picked these guys is because every, every other person was taking so goddamn long to finish that I just, the, the, the downtime was too long. Yeah, you're what? You're not. Your PS4. Your PS4 is Wi-Fi. I know it's that because we we have a fine connection. So it's... Don't mix me up like that, Chancy. All right, here we go. So as Mike says, this is a very bad matchup for Geef, mainly because of that banana. Geef cannot really handle that banana, and uh, Birdie just gets to build that B meter. And then the anti airs are really good. Before I see him just get all sorts of hit, uh, Geef really needs like super hard reads in order to get in. And Mike actually likes to uh, to hit the banana on purpose just to get rid of it. Oh no, Mike dropping his SPT. Mike's been having drops all night tonight if you were watching the stream earlier. And that is so unfortunate because not only does he lose out on damage, he loses out on the setup. He's just, yeah, that's it. There's, I don't think there was any coming back from that. Of course, hyphen. Of course. That height, that match was lit. He did really good. Mike just going for it. Going for the running bear grab. Poor Sam had enough time to whip a button and press up and jump back. For the punish. Yeah, this is just, this is just a brutal matchup. Mike getting a jump in though. Oh, good flex. Poor Tim not respecting the flex because Mike, that's not the first time Mike's done it in this game. Let alone against Poor Tim overall. He loves that flex. Poor H. Playing much more patient this time around, but a great anti air, although he drops it. Doesn't matter because he gets the wake up. Wake up shenanigans, Mike trying to get in there, almost with punishing that heavy punch, but not quite enough. No counter hit combo. But oh, just smack great whiff punish on the heavy punch with that uh with the V-trigger. And then 4H jumping right on what is that hitbox? Right on over the super. What what was that hitbox? That he hit him with his feet. His feet! Disgusting. Disgusting. It's go time. Mike. Looking like he wants to switch sides. Maybe go for a different costume, not sure. Let's do this. It's like, it's like one of those things where I'm like, Ken, I always like, all, all, my entire experience with the game is essentially with Ken. I mean, I also do Sakura, and I did a little bit of Ed, and I did Sagat. But like, having a godlike any ear button, like Crouch Heavy Punch, or just, just a DP for any ear, it's just like, I don't know how other people do it with their, with their weak any ears. I'm like, but, you know, like with those slow, weak any ears. I'm like, how do you guys do that? Doesn't work. No, he's bringing out he's bringing out the pocket Ken or the Akuma. Could be his Akuma. Could be the Akuma. Nope, he just wants Macho Man Randy Geef. All right, here we go. Game two. Fight. Trying red dashing for each. Uh, checking it. Ooh, not close enough to block that banana. Very unfortunate for Mike. Is the Yomi Lariat catching the heavy punch. I love it. Needs to be doing more of that because it, oh, it seems possibly like an answer. I mean, it's a very hard read. 
but it might be an an the answer that might needs. Did he get some meaty? More meaty? Oh, gets caught trying to jump back, but a crush counter. Oh no, he wants the V trigger too. Drops the SPD though, would have killed. Doesn't matter, picks it back up. Mike, showing signs of life. Round two. All right, here we go. 4H being much more wary about his button presses. Just wants to stay at that range. Mike, wanting to push him to the corner, walking back a little bit. I don't know if I agree with that, but oh, good Annie air. That might just be a meaty setup. Oh, the Lariat's so good. And then the whiff punish on that sweep with the heavy punch, that was godlike. Good jump back, catches him. Enough to punish. Another setup. Bryce Mike's not trying to armor that. Oh, catch him with every punch. Not. Or him jumping out of that SPD range, not believing. But Mike almost on that V trigger. Same with 4 H. Mike with the empty jump, staying safe, but oh, getting caught again with the heavy punch. All right, here we go. What's it gonna be? Oh, just walk up, nothing. Another good anti air. There, time that time just going for the damage and the setup, getting the ex uh bull bullhead and the dash up throw and the ex dolphin dive. The unreactable. 4H putting himself on match point. Final round. Fight. Hey, that anti air. Did you see that anti air hitbox? That was. Ridiculous. I was surprised that Mike didn't do a uh, SPD after the first whiff light kick. But... So good. Dash up EX speed. EX SPD. Mike is in. And then he's back out as Poison does a great back dash. Calling out that SPD. Jumping out of that dash up EX SPD. But this time catching the jump is Mike. Getting all that damage. What's it gonna be? Following up, just hopping on over, dashing into sweeps. Mike is in trouble as he flexes into a chain. 4H taking it convincingly. 2 zip. Mike had a little bit going there, but 4H able to make those adjustments, able to play a little bit more patiently. Taking it. 